So we bought a warehouse. Eight weeks to pull all of this off. Watch the bad news, I don't want to hear bad news. Welcome to your blank canvas. Sarah could literally give birth any second. I don't know how you do a podcast. I'm not a princess. This is Far out. Hey, oh, you filming already, are you? Mm -hmm. Far out. So I didn't, I didn't tell her last night um, about the bad news because I like oh, we wanted to film this, so we'll go up there now and tell her. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm so nervous. She's gonna hate me. Sarah, George is here. Why are you filming? <laughs> no, this is either a surprise, like... I'm glad you're sitting down, put it that way. The warehouse. Oh no, <laughs> yeah. Pretty much we've been told by a town planner that if we wanted to extend the mezzanine, mm. it's very unlikely that it would get approved, first of all it could take like six to 12 months to go through a DA approval. That means that we're gonna have to lose your office. I'm sorry, but like your office is, will take up a lot of space. No, it's just an, like, I knew this was gonna happen. We compromise that you have all downstairs for all of your camera gear, everything. The, o the only thing I asked for was a little office. But you got this, you got this. And like your but, team, like but, but, but both we, sides yeah. of the team need it. No, no, but we like- need the studio, like we need it. Maybe your office, maybe we can make an office, but it might not be as big. No, I don't know no, what we're going to no, do right no. now. You even know that's not true because we even tried to work that out. That's the whole reason we wanted to make a mezzanine. Mm. You even know. Now you're just softening the blow. You know I'm not going to get an office because there's like logistically, there is no way it's going to happen. No, if we might we... be able to. It might just have to be really small. It might be a little glass box. <laughs> it's like roadblock after roadblock. Things keep... That's the whole reason we decided to buy, so we could do what we wanted. Even the real estate agent was like, yeah, you can do a full mezzanine, you can yeah, do this. Yeah, but they don't, they don't know. Well, the reality oh, is, is we need like, we need to go for a what, run what he said, yeah. I don't know, I don't know how, like we might be able to do this even, like he said, if we can get another car spot. What does it have to do with the mezzanine? I don't know, some sort of law that's like square meterage to do with floor space. Like, this is dumb. Everyone, like, how are these? How is this real? Like, we're gonna have the same team working in the office, regardless of how yeah, many cars. I know. I know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't get it. But does this make sense to you? No. <laughs> I don't know. It's just. Do you want to keep working from home? We. <laughs> All right. You're lucky you're here. I'm crying. <laughs> no, I feel like it hasn't hit me. I'm like, no. I'm gonna get an office. I'm not, am I? Like, this is not gonna happen. Yeah, you might. Like, a little small one. Code of silence. She, I love how she says, like, when, 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 I'm, when I'm in the office, you can't talk to me. And it's really her going around everyone else talking. It's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, that's our cue to leave. Do you know what I'm doing right now? I'm paying invoices for said warehouse. Money pit. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you that we'll we'll make we'll make good of this Your situation. Your promises are empty at this point. Goodbye. <laughs> Be gone. Okay. Shut the door. Okay. Out. So long story short, we are not allowed to build out the mezzanine and extend out the office space, which is devastating. Yeah, I guess it's just disheartening. It is what it is. It is what it is. We just got to get on with it now. Brush it off. I'm still salty, but I'm gonna sprinkle some sugar elsewhere. <laughs> after everything that's happened. Let's still make it sick. Like, well really, the kitchen hasn't changed that much. For the island bench, we either do white Kit Kat tile or we do the slats. We'll do a similar white stone to what we have in our kitchen. So mm -hmm. like alpine white stone, white slats around the island, white slats above, and then below we'll just have white poly with cool handles. Is this how they do that? Oh, that's sick. I love that. I love that. I love that. That'd be really like lightweight compared to tile, hey? Oh, just thinking because that, that, that bench, that um, island will be on wheels. How beautiful. How cool would that be? Oh, that would be so cool. Oh, that would be so cool. Do Does that. it say who the collaboration is with? Alex Prober. Okay, got it. That makes it a bit more like it's like an artwork in the background too. Yes. That's kind oh, of there's like so unique. many. There's so many different oh. um, variations you can get. We could get one with black in it and then use black handles. Good. So bathroom, the Venetian guy came. He can Venetian the walls and the floor. However, we it's found this. How did you feel when you found the crazy paper bunnies? I mentioned in the last episode, I scoured the earth, not the earth, but Australia, to find the amount that I needed. They are insane. Like, 
chef's kiss. They are beautiful. Do you think we should do this as the floor and Venetian plaster as the wall? What colour are you thinking? That classic sand, sand colour. We're going to have like a black mirror, like probably like an irregular shape. Yeah, that's even cool. That is cool. But I think I like the thin one better. Yeah. Looks pretty cool. Oh, it's pretty fun. Yeah, actually, I do like that. I hope Kurt doesn't see this. I'm easily persuaded by him. If he says, like, mm, I don't think you should wear those shoes. If anyone else tells me, I'd be like, shut up. I'm wearing the shoes. But if Kurt tells me, don't wear those shoes, I, like, really marinate on it. I don't know. It's weird and I don't like it about myself, but it's, I don't know. <laughs> that is the truth. I don't know why. <laughs> It's all in the delivery. Confidence is key. That's how you win this game. Flooring. Okay, we got these two samples. So you're going more of an oaky colour. I actually think this would look really good up there. I think if we just paint that, that staircase black, that could look really cool actually. Okay. Even though we can't extend the mezzanine, we're still going ahead with our bathroom and kitchen design. Originally, we wanted to do a spiral staircase, but have now decided to keep the original staircase frame and just paint it black. This is saving us time and money. A large dining table will now work as the breakout zone with some funky chairs to give it personality. The storeroom, studio, waiting bay, and hair and makeup bar remain the same. As you reach the top of the stairs, you'll be met with a glass door that leads into what will be our meeting room. Wrapped in floor to ceiling windows, we'll be adding some linen curtains in to soften the space. Originally, the podcast room was a part of our extended mezzanine. Now that we're not extending, we've had to make it fit here. After drawing it out a bunch of times, we still feel like this layout is really practical and a great use of space. The rest of the existing mezzanine is our creative stations. We've placed windows on both sides, allowing light to flood the space and give our team a nice lookout while working. We finally got a ceiling. The plaster is virtually 90% done. We've got a little bit to finish over here. We've also got some of the aircon going in. It's gonna be um, yeah, nice and cool when you need it to because it gets pretty hot in here. See, I told you it was hot in here. And yeah, we're pretty good to go. Once we get all that done, we should be sheeting in the next week or two. So we've got eight workstations coming along here. So this will be sheeted in plasterboard. And from here all the way to the ceiling, we're gonna have aluminium frame and massive big glass panels. All the power, that'll all get run underneath so that you don't see it. Jack, I love you. But you need some inflection in your voice. If you're gonna be on YouTube, we need to be using the levels. Show some excitement. <laughs> have I taught you nothing? So initially the plan was to have massive big mezzanine coming off this way. There's gonna be three rooms over here, but for now we're just working with this. So this wall just had your standard drip rock on it. We've had to strip the whole thing. We've pulled the window out that was here. So we're just gonna fill that in. We're gonna put sound rated insulation in because on the other side of this wall, we've got a, a podcast room. Kurt wants that to be absolutely bulletproof. We don't wanna hear anything coming from outside. And now for a smooth transition downstairs. This is said transition. Now we're down here in the storage area. This wall will wrap around over here as well and we're going to be putting a psych wall in. It's going to be a really, really awesome, awesome space. Down here we're in our ugly as bathroom, but we've just had a bloke who does Venetian plaster come through. He's given us a quote. It's an awesome product what we're putting on. I think it's called X-Bond. All we have to do is pretty much strip the bathroom of all the fixtures and fittings, but we can leave all the tiles on the walls. And he's going to go straight over the floor, straight over all the walls. We just got to rough it up a bit before he comes through. You virtually get a brand new bathroom for a lot less money because you're not having to do a lot of the demolition, which is great. Yeah, they'll have a bathroom by the end of next week, which is great. He's really excited to be here. Hi guys, Brenton Parks here. I'm the better looking, less successful version of Kurt Tills. I'm gonna tell you something about Brenton. We don't actually like him. I'm here at House of Groms and I'm gonna give you a world tour. I should have known this was coming. So back here, we have the storage shed. Now, Kurt thinks he's gonna fill it up with all his camera gear, but that's incorrect. Who's this guy think he is? We're gonna fill it with good guns. We heard you, thank you. Now, up the top, we have followers of the game storage up there. Next. As well as my podcast room. People, did you get that? It's a podcast room. <laughs> <laughs>
Now, Sarah has a little office down there, but she doesn't get very busy. Thanks for reminding me. I don't have one. Out the front, you might have seen the Nissan Navara. That is a real man's car. Here we go. There is a uh, female car, the uh, Ranger Raptor. Forget about that. We can actually get that towed in a moment. Who invited this guy? Now, the House of Groms is a great place for all the Groms to... Like, if you're going to do it, at least talking to the microphone. <laughs> house, yeah. I don't know why. Why are we calling it House of Groms? I'm just, is this boring anyone else or just, just me? <laughs> I'm a savage. I'm a savage. Mm, get off the screen. Nah, we love you, Brenton. Just stop distracting our team. All right, it's time for an update of what's been going on at the House of Groms. As you can see, it's a massive mess in here because of Jack, our builder. <laughs> <laughs> now we've got all our old office stuff here just stacked up for now, but basically Jack's gonna be building the psych wall soon, which we're really excited about. So this will be the studio section of the office. Jack today is putting together our kitchen. Look at this, it's coming together now. As soon as the jip rock comes in, things start piecing together. So we've got the bathroom waterproofed and this is pretty much ready to be finished. It's gonna be plastered all the walls are going to be plastered in there and then we've got these awesome tiles for the flooring in there it's going to look amazing the kitchen's going to go along here jack's built in under the stairs here to cover up the stairs and this is all going to get painted the jip rock ceiling's in everything's coming together now so that's a big room it's a big room this staircase is going to be painted completely black pretty much like all the metal features in the place are going to be painted black it's going to look so good but yeah like we're moving along quickly like the whole staircase is in so this upstairs section this is where all the office will be but the windows are meant to be coming in pretty soon we'll run our desks all the way down this line here so there'll be a door there that you just walk through and then coming in here we've got our meeting room which will have our tv up on the up on the wall there and this is where the magic happens for our podcast okay i'm going to briefly talk you through through the podcast room because I feel like it's a bit of an interesting part of this build. And I did a lot of research into what we could do to make that room nice and soundproof. What I came up with was we would build a false floor on top of the concrete slab and we would put soundproof insulation within that. So we are fitting the walls out with two layers of sound check jib rock on either side of the wall. Within the wall cavity, we would have a wool soundproof insulation. All walls are built this way. We decided to use two solid cord doors to prevent as much noise as possible entering into the space. Now we move on to the interior and the acoustic treatment of the recording studio. Now we're working with Vic Acoustics who helped us a lot to get the best acoustic sounding room as possible. And on either side of the wall, we have used their panels and on the ceiling as well. We have repurposed our bench seat from our old podcast room. And this is gonna be customized to fit into the new space. To top it off, we have our table in the middle, just a circular table with all our podcast equipment on top of it. So that's like our quick update. And it was pretty, pretty flare. Did we? It was a pretty flare. Oh, did we, did we teed that up nicely, didn't we? That's good. I like that. I like this phase of building. Like this is the exciting part and it starts to really come together. So I'm excited to show you guys what we have planned. Severe weather warning is in place tonight. 14 flood warnings. Night of relentless rain. Very dangerous out there on our roads. Cronulla, 90 mils of rain. 2022, our wettest year ever. <laughs> 